Krishna Devi lays out these water containers every morning in hopes the tap outside her house will finally run. The water supply in her locality has been disrupted for weeks and her water tank lies gathering dust. Krishna and hundreds of others in this neighborhood now rely solely on mobile water tankers sent by local officials, but they come infrequently. And the otherwise close-knit residents have to fight to get just enough for their daily needs. Fed up with this daily struggle, Satish, who only goes by his first name, started sourcing water from a bow well at a temple nearby. But after the pump broke a few days ago, that option too has dried out. <laughs> Satish tells me he is forced to spend a fifth of his salary every month just to buy drinking water. The problem isn't as dire for Delhi's more affluent citizens living in posh apartments like these, but it's still pervasive enough to affect large parts of the city. The local government here is already penalizing water wastage, dissuading citizens from using this now precious resource for things like washing their cars or landscaping. The unprecedented heat wave has worsened matters, drastically reducing the availability of water from Delhi's largest source, the Yamuna River. Recent showers in the capital haven't improved things much. <laughs> Delhi's water minister Atishi has alleged that the neighboring upstream state Haryana is holding back crucial supply from the river and embarked on a hunger strike to highlight the city's crisis. The Haryana government says it's not withholding water and is rather supplying excess. But Delhi's water problem runs much deeper. Analysts say it's estimated 30 million residents have never had enough water to begin with. This rapidly expanding city needs an estimated 4,921 million litres of drinking water each day, yet city authorities can only provide 3,785 million litres, a mere fraction. The vast gap is met by the drilling of wells to extract groundwater. But the city already extracts far beyond the safe limit, making the land prone to sinking and causing permanent damage to the stock water table. Experts say pumping more from the river is merely a quick fix. Instead, authorities need to plug leaks in the pipes that transport water, which can save hundreds of gallons per day. Massive investment is also needed for recycling and reusing water. We have at least 500 million gallons per day of treated wastewater and the deficit is 300 million gallons per day. So it can definitely be one source, you know, which can uh, uh, address the issue. This water could be used for daily activities such as cleaning dishes and clothes or for landscaping public parks. It would also reduce Delhi's reliance on his depleting crown water. But these are long-term solutions that require lasting changes to the city's water infrastructure. What many residents like Krishna Devi want is an immediate fix to their daily struggles and the guarantee of life-giving water without having to wait. Ishan Garg, CNA, New Delhi.